Hello, this is the first lesson of lecture in uh, LabVIEW course. In this lesson, we will learn about the main component of LabVIEW, like front panel uh, block diagram, and we will learn about uh, uh, the main programming uh, structures like uh, for loop, while loop, uh, case structure, and uh, flat sequence and we will take some examples if we click on a uh, new VI this is the front panel the graphical interface and this is the coding area in the coding area if I select and if I do a right click and uh, select uh, while loop for example while loop uh, is uh, here in lab view it's uh, a do while not a while loop it will a uh, continually will uh, run for one time and then it will uh, check the condition if it is true it will in out of the loop if it's false it will continue also I can change this to make it continue if it true or stop if it, if it true uh, anything I put here in this uh, loop uh, will repeat for example if I Uh, make a random number numeric random number and make an indicator okay and I will make a delay time we will uh, talk about each uh, one of them later when we will beat them uh, and I create a constant let's be uh, 400 milliseconds and if we uh, can't run the code there is an error if we say why while loop condition terminal is not wired this conditional terminal is not wired so I will create a constant for example false it will continue okay if I it will repeat until infinity and if I click on this, I can't do it. Okay. Now, if we want to delete what is in it and make it true, uh, if it is a while loop, it will not uh, execute uh, none. But because it's a do while, it will run the code and then check the condition. If it's true, it will get out of the loop or it's uh, it is false it will make it again so now if I delete what inside uh, this and click to play as we see it is executing for one time and then it is stopped because of the condition how we can make this do while loop for a uh, while loop we will uh, talk about it later okay now if I don't want uh, uh, if I am going to uh, talk about for loop if I delete or if I uh, select uh, a while loop and click delete it will delete anything inside it but if I uh, do a right click and remove while loop it just will remove the while loop and now I want for example for loop this is not necessary anymore okay now this is the number of iteration that I want the loop to do for example I want uh, 10 iterations and I is the number of iteration that uh, it is reached right now or at the moment now if I click on play one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay it's execute uh, for ten times and then stop also I can make a conditional stop conditional terminal as in the while loop I can make it uh, stop uh, when I reach the number of iterations I want or when there is uh, anything coming right here on or uh, when there is uh, a condition that is satisfied 
Okay. Uh, now we will talk about uh, case structure. Okay. If I go to structures, there is case structure. It's uh, it's uh, an alternative for if else. It's case structure as we know. Okay. I want uh, let's go to front panel and I will create a boolean. For example, vertical and this vertical will connect to the case structure so now uh, it will be true or false all also if I create okay also if I create a number numeric number for example and I connect it there it will automatically change to numbers one two also I can add a frame or case structure, delete this duplicate uh, make this uh, case 1, show case 1 removed by default also I have case after and so on ok ok now uh, I want when this button is down to do something and when it is up to do something else for example I want two numbers numeric add ok constant uh, create some 10 plus is 12 I will create an indicator to show the result and I will connect ok and this is when it is false when it is true I want it to do for example I multiply 10 by 2 constant 10 by 2 and connect it ok now if I click on play run it's a 12 and when I it's 20 ok why I can't hear because it is not in a while loop if I put it in a while loop and I create a constant ok, now if I apply it if I run it's 20, 12 20, 12 ok uh, also I have uh, ok, cancel also we have uh, flat sequence flat sequence is um, dividing the key code you have into steps uh, for example this is the first field I will add another field uh, when I'm executing I can organize which code or part of the code will be executed first for example if I put some code here uh, first of all it will uh, it will <coughs> first of all it will execute this part of code and then after it finished will uh, move to the second step this is the main parts of uh, programming uh, the next uh, lesson we will learn how to use them in programming at some examples thank you for watching subscribe for more videos thank you